Hi everybody, Mr. Gilbert here, wanting to talk about layers of our Earth. And the first thing you need to know is this is video one on layers of the Earth. And it's all going to be, how do we know that there are layers of the Earth? Well, you know, you got to go back to the big idea of since the Earth's inner core, or the center of the Earth, is the hottest temperature, and highest pressure, and heat rises, the inner core, or center of the Earth, radiates heat outwards, all the way up to and beyond the Earth's surface. When heat makes it to a layer we're going to learn about, it ends up becoming concentrated in places. This concentration of heat causes convection to occur in the asthenosphere. This is kind of where we're going at the end of stuff. And the movement of heat creates convection, which drives the movement of plates, the idea of plate tectonics. In other words, we're learning about the lithosphere moves on the asthenosphere. Convection, you should know about heat transfer, CCR. Okay, if you don't know how they work, this is going to get confusing. Go and watch that video. So how do we find out that we have different layers in the earth? Well, there are four ways. Evidence from rock samples. We've drilled holes over 12 kilometers deep and gotten samples. As we drill down, you know, through the outer layer, things change. Volcanoes have blasted rocks that have been up to 100 kilometers deep out on the surface. But these are not very deep. Thus, most importantly, dun, dun, dun. Evidence from seismic waves, seismic <clears throat> waves moving through the earth. You know, as a seismic wave passes through different materials, solid, liquid, metal, etc., the wave changes speed. And it's where these waves change speed, or the location of where the waves change speed, is where we think a new layer is located. So if we have something here creating a vast amount of energy, a seismic wave, an earthquake, you know, if we're just zooming through the same layer here, the wave stays about the same size. As it goes into a different layer, it's going to change rates and goes through another different layer and changes speed again. And so we end up doing a bunch of math and can figure it out. To look at it differently, here we have a wave, okay, and it's traveling and it, boom, jumps into a new speed. Boom, jumps into a new speed. Boom, jumps into a new speed throughout different layers. The speed of the wave changes or jumps to new speeds, could jump up or down as it enters a new layer. This is how we realize that there are different layers. Okay, that's the end of the video. So going way back to the beginning, it's going to help focus on this. Keep this in the back of the mind. The movement of heat helps create convection, which drives the movement of the plates. Where does the heat come from? The Earth's center or inner core. Yeehaw!